friends, I'm Goof. So today I'm going to tell you why zebra have black and white stripes. Yes, why zebra have black and white stripes? Do you think ever that why zebra have black and white stripes? You think that I'm stupid, but no. In reality, this video will give you a very scientific scientific prove that why zebra have black and white stripes and yes it is very interesting video so please watch till the end so let's start a video number one do you know that the zebra's black and white stripes are in reality is vice versa yes zebra have white stripes and black color if you look closely of zebra's pictures you will see that black stripes is just our illusion and in reality white are the zebra stripes and the black is the natural color of zebra as black protects zebra from heat and regulates its body and blood also the heat quantity in its body that's why zebra has black color and white skin also white skin also balances the blood circulation and the heat in the body so yes this is the number one fact number two the black and white stripes of zebra manipulates <coughs> predators like lion hyena as we know most of the animals are color blind and yes we know that <coughs> in color blind we couldn't see white and black color that is same for the animals and as we know zebra has black and white color so that's why this is the advantage of zebra from predators that's why lions hyenas leopards didn't attack zebra in most of the cases as they are color blind and when they see zebra in most of the cases they ignore as they think it is just a natural thing or like a tree or a grass or something that we couldn't eat or just ignore them so yes this is the very big advantage of zebra fact number three do you know the extinct species of zebra is also there? Yes, it was extinct by humans in 1920s or in 1930s. It is quagga. Yes, quagga. You heard it right. Quagga was found in South Africa's Orange River. Yes, they were just found in Southern Africa with limited population and each herd has 50 to 100 members and yes the quagga has very distinctive color it is said that the quagga has brown and orange color mix on its most of the body and in its lower areas of body it has white and grayish yellowish and light reddish color and in middle and on its lower and upper areas it has stripes yes black and grayish stripes also the orange color was limited in the upper area and in the most of the neck area and almost covering the head area also covering some foot and toes area and tail area and yes 
the quagga was the subspecies of plain zebra and plain zebra is the species of zebra but it catch the eye of the humans we that hunted for its fur and hunted for its meat and for sports too and due to its unique color we start hunting in huge numbers and with limited population and limited range the zebra of the orange river or the quagga became extinct so sad but in recent years the south african government and some international government are doing quagga project in this project they are sel- they are selectively choosing zebras that are closely related to the or that are closely <coughs> have quagga color or quagga appearance or looking mostly they are plain zebra as i said plain zebras has their own subspecies and one of them were quagga so yes plain zebra are closely related to the quagga so yes plain zebras could <coughs> reextinct quagga so yes by selectively breeding by selectively choosing horses that are similar in appearance and looking or are genetically similar from quagga and plain zebra or any other zebra are also selectively choosing and other other zebras that are <coughs> similarly same in looking and appearance so yes this is the third point and yes this is the main point of the quagga project and by doing this south african government is selectively choosing these zebra and these horses and then interbreeding them and over the years the first generation and second and fifth generation quaggas are been seen and it is said that the 20th and the 30th generation will be fully quagga that were almost quagga parents but they were 10 20% genetically different from quagga as we know human made things are how many percent true or genetically same in reality 20 30 40 or even 60 50% are different from the mother nature so yes this was the third point the fourth point the zebras have very strong kick and so strong that they could kill a lion or even in some extreme cases could kill a human person too wow and yes the fifth point the zebra is the only unique member of the equine family yes you heard it right the zebra is the member of the equine family the family will donkeys pony horses pony horses etc are also related so yes horses donkeys ponies are related to the zebra and yes zebras are 20 30 percent different from the horses donkeys ponies and in appearance too but yes you could see many zebra horse donkey pony hybrids in foreign zoos especially in european and american zoos and the zebra donkey horse pony hybrids or should i say zebra zebra hybrids are known as zebroids 
Zebras are those animals that are hybrid of zebra and any other equine member like horses, donkeys, ponies, etc. Yes, in the equine member, in equine family, orangos and wild asses also come. Wild ass are the wild ancestors of donkeys and they are found in Asia and Europe. Mm, sorry, not in Europe, in Africa. But they were found in last ice age in Europe, but extinct in the last ice age. So, yes. This is the fifth point. And yes, the examples of zebras are Zeus or Zebra, also Zoni or Zonki, Zoni, etc. And the bonus fact, do you know that Zebra is national animal of many African countries? Yes. And do you know that Zebra is a vulnerable animal? And many zebra species are endangered or critically endangered. Even some of them are extinct and wild. But the official status of zebra and wild is near threatened. But most of the experts say that the status should be vulnerable, not near threatened due to rise in poaching of zebra and yes the second bonus point and the last one is that there are many species of zebra yes most of the people are not unfamiliar that zebra has its many species most common are mountain zebra brutal zebra plain zebra and many are plains mountain zebra Hartman zebra and etc. So yes, this was the last fact. And I want to say about zebras. Please save zebra. They are the unique animals and they contribute in our ecosystem very importantly as I said in my previous videos. So bye, but save animals and save zebra. Bye.